Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jgod. In today's video, we're gonna focus on the best class setup for the M4A1 assault rifle within Modern Warfare. And the class setup we'll be using today is going to be that GI Mini Reflex, the Monolithic Suppressor, the Corvus Custom Barrel, the 60 round magazine for the ammunition, as well as the stippled grip tape for the rear grip. And even though this is a specific class setup that I'm gonna be running within the video, you could easily swap out the optic for a laser sight or the commando foregrip. So as I normally do with most of my videos, I get the class setup out of the way because obviously there's certain people that only click on the video to get the class set up and then we move on to a gameplay breakdown so you have a better idea on how to use this weapon and that's something I normally like to do with my videos I combine that class setup with the how to use it because I think the how to use it is the even more important part than the actual class setup so if any of you are just dropping in for the class setup and you're gonna go ahead and take off please do me a favor of hitting that like button before you click away and subscribe with notifications on if you're looking to find your way back to the channel let's go ahead and get into the breakdown and just like I normally do with my subscriber gameplay breakdowns is I kind of take an average gameplay from a gaming session I kind of walk you through my thought process as I'm playing the match obviously I could share pick a good match edit all the deaths make it look like I'm a rock star and all that stuff but that's not the point of my content my content is primarily geared towards helping players improve and if I just show you me going flawless all the time that's not necessarily gonna help you you're gonna wonder how I get all these easy lobbies and why your lobbies don't look exactly like this so one of the things to keep in mind is there's a general rule of thumb when you're playing modern warfare compared to a lot of the other call of duties and the big rule of thumb is generally people are not going to move they're going to camp. You're going to have to know where all those camping spots are. So you're going to kind of have to get acquainted with all the individual maps. So the more you play, obviously, the more you're going to learn where people are. You can see I'm kind of pre-aiming general areas where I think people are going to be. And I'm kind of navigating around the map. I drop my dead silence. I'm going to go ahead and peek the window, see if I can look into their spawn. So we can get a little bit of map control and then my team can actually capture the B objective. Luckily, I stim shot, jump out. M4 is pretty deadly, even without a laser sight. Doesn't take a lot of shots to kill. Typically, it's going to be four without those headshots and five at those further ranges. So this match is like a lot of the matches that you're going to play in the game. Most of the time, if you're playing 10v10, eight people on the enemy team are probably average to below average. And then there's one or two people that are either good or camp really hard. And those are not the same thing because you could easily camp at the back of your spawn, Maybe go 10 and 0 or 10 and 1 if someone happens to catch you off guard. But more often than not, if you camp really hard, you can get a VTOL, which you can actually use kill chain, and that'll cycle you up to a chopper gunner and then a gunship. But that doesn't necessarily make you a skilled player. You have to be able to navigate the map. So in this case, what I'm doing is kind of sticking to the outskirts, kind of clearing the edge of the map as I move closer. And I'm trying to kill a couple of these enemies out of spawn because as I'm able to kill them, I can go ahead and creep up. I didn't even see the guy who shot me, but if you look at that red mark on your screen, you can kind of see where directionally the person is. I jump out, pre-aim where that little red marker was from the hit marker, and then I just pre-aim and take the guy out. So pretty good kill there, pretty smooth. And then I go ahead and peek out. This guy ends up one-shotting me. He's pre-aiming that. Not much I could do other than just completely avoid that sight line. So because of the fact I mentioned earlier where most of the people are just going to be stagnant, they're not necessarily going to be moving around the map, that means there's going to be a lot of kills to go around if you're able to push into the enemy spawn and they're not necessarily in the best power position. Right here, I'm trying to take that guy out. I can see my teammates are pushing up. And it was looking like we were going to have some good map control right now, but for whatever reason, my teammate is already on the A flag. So that's going to be kind of messing things up. It looks like they've already flipped the spawn enemy team was able to jump on C and these things happen all the time so you kind of got to just go with the flow and you can see right here I end up pushing out I never even end up seeing the guy who was in the window I kind of was blocked by this tree right here the guy ends up seeing me snipes me I never actually had a chance to see him and I end up getting taken out one shot and that unfortunately was the story of this entire match as I go through pretty much every death is by a one shot kill weapon it's either that MK2 carbine or like we saw right there the HDR so what I'm doing is peeking out out, got a quick kill there thinking of popping dead silence you can see that all my team is locked in this power position we have all three of the flags which isn't really a good thing typically when you're playing domination unless you have to do that to actually win the match now all the enemies should be spawning on the a side i'm peeking as the guy runs through i'm not able to land any shots there so i don't shoot any and then i'm kind of creeping around because i know a lot of the enemies are going to funnel through this right side on the mini map they are all popping up so I'm going through, I can see that the guy's upstairs on the top of the steps in that little doorway. 
So I creep up, throw my C4, end up getting a kill there. So I end up dying right here, but if I was a little bit more efficient with my shots, I probably could have taken that guy out and then just snapped onto the second guy, but I wasn't really expecting that scenario. I guess I got a little bit sloppy there. So that death is on me. I really could have actually prevented that by killing the first guy, landing the shots on the second guy before he even drew his weapon because I was already aiming down sight. I just got a little bit sloppy. So right here, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a two streak, not that long, and I die again, and then this is where I take off, and I don't die for pretty much the rest of the match. You're gonna see me kind of go through. I take it aggressively, knowing I have EOD. I'm able to take that guy out. I push up, jump around, the guy comes out, one shot kill weapon. Again, as I go ahead and peek around, I was thinking of mantling it. By the time I saw the guy to adjust, he quick scopes me, and then that's the end for me. Looks like the spawns are already flipping again. We're jumping on A as a team. We already have B. All we gotta do is push up, maintain that map control. And as I'm moving along, you can see that the enemy team is starting to jump on B. So I kind of work my way back because I know B is very important for maintaining the actual spawns and controlling the map. So I wanna jump up, make sure we have that map control because right now we're still losing. So we have to have two flags for almost a majority of the match. You can see I have a couple teammates over at A. Teammates is finishing off B. I kind of come back to help him out. And it looks like that's all clear. So now I'm pushing up to try and get into the enemy spawn without actually flipping the spawn. And I think that's the part that a lot of people find tricky because when you're actually pushing up, you have to be aware of where all your teammates are positioned. If too many of you are in the enemy spawn, odds are the spawn will just flip out. Right now, it looks like my team is kind of sitting back not crossing this imaginary line so i should be good to kind of clear out this building as i come through i lock on able to take that guy out and then i'm just pushing the spawn aggressively and when you're doing this type of stuff you got to kind of keep your head on a swivel that's why i'm repositioning myself obviously the guy wasn't going to spawn directly in front of me so i was already kind of turning around perfect timing i'm able to take that guy out he ended up going for the melee i land my shots i'm able to take him out looks like there is a guy on this right side i'm kind of predicting that i'm going to go push into this building he ends up jumping out i react and then i'm able to take him out so as i jump out i pop dead silence and i'm abusing multiple things right here obviously i'm kind of solo spawn trapping they don't know where i'm at because of that suppressor i'm using ghost so i'm staying off the mini map and then on top of that i know that these players are going to want to go back to those same positions that's why even though i immediately killed that guy they're running back to the exact same position and i've kind of overstayed my welcome that's why i'm kind of rotating out to keep them a little bit off guard because they're all going to be pushing that building and i get another opportunity to kind of take a clean sweep and i'm coming through and i know that i only have one teammate that's kind of getting closer to that c but for the most part all my teammates are kind of posted up further back and the only place that the enemies can spawn is to the right of me in this corner behind that truck pretty much in that corner and then the little crevice on the side so pretty much easy kills because of where my teammates are positioned if i had too many teammates that were kind of starting to push up spawns would flip my teammates would jump on c enemies would start taking a so pretty much that guy went back upstairs i kind of saw that little blip on the mini map take this guy out i'm starting to run out of ammo and that's going to be kind of an issue here i end up taking that guy out he ended up getting the hit marker in that particular scenario he's the one that's been landing those chest shots with that mk2 so his shot was just a little bit off and i'm able to survive got the full streaks obviously if i was going for a long gun streak i'd probably be running the ammo box in addition to dead silent or also have advanced uav but i was just playing around trying to get some kills focusing on winning the match which isn't particularly that hard if you know how to control the spawns you can see that there is one enemy player that he is camping in the building by c because he has not died obviously he's not moving around the map and he ends up even calling an advanced uav on me which kind of throws everything out of whack because then that gets rid of all my stealth options and i gotta kind of just reposition myself and hopefully the players i'm going against aren't aware of how the mini map is going to update so right here i'm expecting people to continue funneling through i peek the right side real quick and kind of expecting that hey you know what no one's gonna be coming through there pre-aim these guys are gonna be running out should be easy kill i heard some footsteps jump shot kind of turn around take the guy out i switch to my launcher so i can switch weapons and i'm gonna end up picking up the mp7 sad part about picking up people's weapons in public matches is for the most part they're using some random attachments that aren't always the best so you don't really know exactly what you're getting so as i come back out of this doorway I end up kind of figuring out where somebody is i pre-aim it a little bit 
I land my shots and then they get that one shot kill with that MK2 carbine and then I go ahead and call in my chopper gunner. You can kind of see how I'm moving around. Now we don't have a mini map because of that counter. It pops back up. I peek the right side real quick and then I can see that there's somebody on the right side to pre-aim, land about two or three shots and then I pretty much get instantly killed with that one shot kill weapon. Lay down, pretty much calling that chopper gunner, and I end up doing fairly well. I think I end up going 38 and 8, which isn't anything crazy. Like I said, there's other matches where maybe I'll get 50 and 2, 50 and 4. I gotta camp a little bit more to get those streaks, but this is more of a normal match where you can see that people tend to post up, camp a little bit, and overall, if you go ahead and play smart, you can still play aggressive. You're gonna take more deaths than normal, but at the end of the day, you'll probably have a little bit more fun and you're gonna improve as a player. Hopefully you guys found the video helpful in some way. If you did, please do me a favor hitting that like button. If you're brand new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing with notifications on to be able to find your way back. I do appreciate all the support on the content. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.